Boris Johnson urged to introduce new tax for all those aged over 40 to fund social care. Boris Johnson could introduce a new tax for people older than 40 to fund care for the aging population, former Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt has said. Mr Hunt believes the opportunity to establish a long-term plan for funding social care is, now or never, and notes public support for the sector during the coronavirus pandemic. He says its legacy would be like the establishment of the NHS after the Second World War. Speaking to the Press Association, Mr Hunt, chair of the Commons Health and Social Care Committee, said this is another 1948 moment. In July 2019, Mr Johnson said in his first speech as Prime Minister, I am announcing now, on the steps of Downing Street, that we will fix the crisis in social care once and for all with a clear plan we have prepared to give every older person the dignity and security they deserve. He believes a tax on the middle-aged, similar to that of Germany and Japan, could supply the funding, stating, both of them, interestingly, introduced a tax surcharge to people over 40, which is only a small amount extra, but as you get older you start to pay a little bit more. And neither have had public pushback for doing that. The Health and Social Care Committee has called for £7 billion additional annual funding by 2023-24. The MPs recommended a £46,000 cap on the total costs anyone should have to pay for their care. Mr Hunt, Health Secretary from 2012 to 2018, told PA, we were even more bankrupt as a country after the Second World War and then we had the imagination and vision to set up the NHS, and I think this is another 1948 moment. I just think the year after the pandemic, if we don't do it now, it really is now or never. Because the public has never understood better how important our care system is. Mr Hunt, who ran against Mr Johnson for the Tory leadership, added, I don't think Boris needs me to tell him this, but boldness always pays off in politics. And if you wanted to send the strongest possible signal that we are a one-nation conservative party that cares equally for young and old, then this is the strongest possible signal. In June, Mr Johnson reiterated his desire to fix social care issues, describing it as a problem every government has flunked for 30 years. He said, we will end the injustice that some people have to sell their homes to finance the costs of their care while others don't. We are finalizing our plans and we will build a cross-party consensus. Simon Bottery, senior fellow at the King's Fund Health think tank, said Mr Johnson must avoid becoming yet another prime minister who promised reform but failed to deliver it.